I'm Thomas Moore, manager of the Aberdeen Equity Income Trust. The market backdrop during the quarter has continued to be influenced by expectations over the path for inflation and interest rates. We have seen greater stability in UK domestic politics since the Trust mini budget, and that's been welcome because it's reduced the risk premium that investors apply to UK assets, including UK equities. Now, as a result, the market's focus has shifted onto economic data, and in particular, the ability of policymakers such as the Bank of England to bring inflation under control without precipitating a recession. So it's against this rather complex backdrop that we've been positioning the portfolio. We've continued to focus on companies that have the pot potential to deliver strong cash flows, therefore protecting our shareholders against the ravages of inflation and at the same time looking for companies with attractive yield and also the potential for these companies to produce growth that may have been overlooked by the wider market. Our two largest purchases during the quarter were Vanquist Banking Group and Diversified Energy. Both of these businesses, we believe, can produce strong cash flows in an inflationary environment. Starting with Vanquist Banking Group, this was formerly known as Provident Financial, which had been through a long period of restructuring. We now believe it's coming out the other side with improving returns, robust credit quality and accelerating demand for their products, just as competition is showing signs of reducing. The stock's low valuation seems to be a reflection of historic views of the business rather than forward-looking prospects of the business, which we believe are strong. Secondly, Diversified Energy did a placing during the quarter in which we took part. We believe that the assets they are buying are very attractively valued at just over two times earnings. These assets have existing wells and also some undeveloped wells which provides future production potential. In terms of sales during the quarter we sold out of GlaxoSmithKline where we see a relatively weak drugs pipeline with limited scope for meaningful catalysts to drive a re-rating in the shares. In addition we also reduced our holding in DS Smith. The business is performing well operationally but there are signs of a wider slowdown in the paper and packaging sector. During the quarter, we saw sharp swings in the macroeconomic landscape, causing some major reversals in performance, with many of last year's leaders becoming laggards. The drivers of our performance over the period were, in particular, the reduction in energy prices, driving down the share prices in Tungela Resources and Diversified Energy. We believe that both companies remain highly cash generative, even at these lower energy prices, and so we retain our conviction. At the same time, we also saw disappointing trading updates from Close Brothers and CMC Markets. On the positive side, this was partially offset by strong trading performances from Vistri, International Personal Finance and Conduit Holdings. After the excitement of the Trust mini budget in September, there are now signs of an improvement in the UK economy, reducing fears of an imminent recession. GDP growth forecasts are progressively being revised upwards as consumers benefit from a continuing strength in employment markets, rising wage growth, and some signs that inflation is cooling. At the same time, we have the reopening of the Chinese economy following the lifting of COVID restrictions, helping to lift global growth expectations. More recently, in March, we had the jolt from the collapse of US-based Silicon Valley Bank and also the demise of Credit Suisse. But both of these have passed without significant contagion across the wider financial system. This episode does provide a reminder of the fragilities that can be exposed as economies adjust to a world of higher interest rates. But it's also fueled investor hopes that the end of the rate cycle could be brought forward.
Now, we are aware through all of this that the stock market is unusually dominated by macro drivers. But we are confident in the fundamentals of our holdings and we're staying focused on the cash generative nature of businesses that can generate strong dividends, despite this uncertainty that we're seeing in the economic situation. Happily, the UK market is highly diverse, allowing us to access a wide range of companies with lots of different drivers. By remaining focused on the cash flow generation of our holdings, we expect the portfolio to be able to benefit from attractive dividend growth. And also we expect that over time, the capital growth outlook will respond to improving confidence on the macro economy.